Hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. So today I'm just gonna give you guys a real quick tip on how I mix my fluid painting paints. And then I'm also gonna show you how you can store them. So if you decide, oh my gosh, I don't have time to paint, or you're like me, oh crap, I gotta go get my kid from the bus, then you completely forgot. Yeah, you can go ahead and utilize your the storage. Um, I like it, I think it's simple, and I hope you guys too. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let's get to it. Okay, so the supplies you need. Mixing cups, popsicle sticks, your paints. I'm utilizing three different kinds so you can um, see the consistency and how to mix them all. The first one I'm gonna utilize is the Phthalo Blue by Liquitex Basics. These ones are my favorite paints. Um, the easiest ones to mix because they're already very liquid are the Apple Barrel paints. This one's Barn Red. And then this is just a paint sample that I got. Um, it's called Mallard Trek Turquoise. Um, I just got it from Home Depot for 99 cents when they were having that sell. And then Floetrol and Treadmill Lubricant. And then I utilized these little cups that I got back when we tried out that Home Chef meal delivery thing. Yeah, way too expensive for us but um, I'm gonna utilize these, but you can also use mason jars, things like that. It is awesome. So let's go ahead and jump right into the mixing. It's actually pretty simple. Um, there are so many different methods, I would say, to mixing. And so really, I'm just gonna show you guys mine because I've heard quite a few different um, like recipes, I guess you could say, and I think that you just need to find what works best for you. This has worked every time for me getting cells, so I'm not going to try to change that up. Uh, and then my Liquitex Basics, just put a little bit in there. Um, I don't really have like a measurement thing, so that's why I'm just gonna walk you guys through visually what I am doing. So if this were to flatten out, it would probably cover the bottom part. And you know what, I'm gonna make a little bit more though just because I do have the storage as well. So there we go. You can see how much I put in there. And then let's put the apple barrel. Oops. Ah! <laughs> okay. See from the side how much that is. And the Home Depot one, this one's probably like, there we go. Lovely, but it is a really cool color. Look at that, I think it's pretty. Okay, so now that we have our paints in here, ah, and making a giant mess, that's why I lined my table. <laughs> so now that we have our paints in here, here's what I do. You wanna make sure that you have, um, water purified water okay so now that we have purified water the reason i was told which so far it's worked perfectly to me okay the reason i was told to use purified water is because it reduces the crazing and helps with the strength of the paints so personally i'm going to continue to use it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever because Ever since I started doing that and um, also pouring off as much paint as possible, I've had no crazing issues whatsoever. I'm probably gonna jinx myself, I know, but I'm just saying. So the general idea is to get about the same amount of Floetrol as you had paint. And you can see that it already starts to force the paint to separate. And same thing, you just wanna estimate about the same amount. Floetrol is a paint conditioner, not a pouring medium. Um, so if you really want the best possible painting you can possibly get, then utilize pouring medium. Um, and then I just stick a popsicle stick in each of these. Now the first thing you wanna do, mix, 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 mix. Get all this mixed up. Floetrol does dry clear, uh, so I don't have any issues with that. And then it's a matte coverage. So if you guys are wanting glossy, just make sure you get a gloss sealant. And I haven't had any issues with the 
uh, pieces that I've made so far with Floetrol. So I'm just gonna continue for now. I don't really feel the need to change. So here we go. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I scoop it up on my popsicle stick and then I tilt it over to see how well it flows off. And do you see how it keeps kind of just dripping? It's not going down in one long smooth line. That's what we want to avoid. So you make sure you scrape the sides as you're stirring. So just kind of like with resin, you know, you really want to make sure you're mixing it as best as possible. Scoop, pour, and it's just kind of dripping. So what that means is this is not good enough. And that's where the purified water comes in. Purified water, you just want to add just a little bit at a time. Just like, honestly, like a capful. Capful at a time. Mix it as good as you possibly can, as well as you possibly can, and then do the same trick. And I'll show you guys once I get that consistency what it should look like in the final product, at least for me. So you scoop it up and it runs down nice and thin. That's still not thin enough actually. Oh, no, that's pretty good. So I just want it to be nice and smooth. It's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be like water, but you want it to run really nice, okay? Another trick that I was told is if while you're stirring, you can take your popsicle stick and stir, and if you stop stirring and you see no stir lines, then that usually means you're at the right consistency too because that means it's thin enough that it immediately um, fills wherever you are stirring through. So. I like this consistency, let's go on to the next one. The next one is the Home Depot paint. And this one I find that it is a pretty good consistency without having to add any water. I don't know if that's because it's a house paint or whatnot, because I don't really know like a lot about that, but it is really nice. So scrape your sides, mix it up, and I'll show you, look at that. There's not even an air bubble in there. Like it's just so thin right away. And I really like it. Oh, I do have some crud on it though. It was like old paint, so old paint came off. All right. But yeah, that one's already done. That's how simple that was. And then this one is the hardest one to mix and get the right consistency. This is the Liquitex Basics, but that's because they're such a nice pigmented thick paint in the first place. So you are gonna have to add more water than likely you had to add for the apple barrels or for the house paint. And some people don't like that. That's why they like the cheaper paints for this. You see, it's not coming off. <laughs> So we're gonna add about a capful. Stir, 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 stir. Check it out, check the consistency. Add another capful. But really you just want a nice runny consistency, just not watery consistency. If it's water, then you've definitely gone too far. Um, watery, you're gonna have issues with like um, showing your canvas through and stuff like that. And if you don't prime your canvas, you can have issues with that. So it's fairly simple. Um, once you get the hang of it. Honestly, that's the hardest part is just getting the hang of it. See, and that took too long to fall off, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I don't, I know that for me, when I first started, I seriously was so overwhelmed with this part, um, but once I finally like found my groove, I'm super happy with it. No complaints whatsoever. I never have issues mixing. Um, like I said, I don't have crazing anymore, so I'm good, I like it. And that's fairly liquid, so I do like that. Yep. And then for adding the silicone, I don't add it into my white or my black if I'm using it as my base color, but if it's in my normal colors, I do. So all I'm gonna do is just tilt this and squeeze until I get one, two, three. Three drops is good. Mixy, 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 mixy. I'm gonna show you Let's try to do it on here, see if it, make something cool on here, make a swipe. And then same thing, one, two, three. 
Mixy, 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 mixy. Do another line of paint here. And the last one. One, two, three. And you guys can see I'm really not like mixing it up perfect. I'm just doing a quick, quick blender. Get that in there. Okay. Now, eh, what the heck? I got hands. I can clean them. So you just swipe it right on over. And there's your beautiful cells. But that's seriously how easy it is. And then if you are not ready to use them, just take your little container or mason jar or whatever you're using. Um, or if you only have time like once a week to paint, then you can make a lot of this. So that way you don't have to cut into your time every single week on mixing. Um, and then just dump it all in there. Scrape it just like you would your resin. Get all that paint out. Save every single drop. There's one. And then I have, I use a shoe organizer over the back of my garage door to put all my paints and stuff in. And that's worked really, really nicely. That helps with organization and clutter and all that good stuff. Um, I'm gonna do, start a blog actually. So I'll do a blog post on like all the organization stuff that I use because I've had a couple people comment and I mean, it's not, I don't think my stuff is that nice, <laughs> but it's definitely convenient. Um, the way that I have it placed and just things that I found super cheap so I'll be sure to share all those little tips with you guys and if you want you can read it enjoy it and that's it so boom 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 all done let me know if you guys have any questions if I didn't cover something because uh, I think I did but I just used Dasani water you can use any purified water um, whenever you're mixing, you notice that I didn't utilize a lot. I would not recommend doing paint and water without like a pouring medium because that's going to thin the paint out way too much and it takes away from the structure of the paint. Um, let's see. I think that's all I could think of so far um, when it comes to this particular process. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, yeah, that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any suggestions or requests for videos. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. All right. Thanks, everyone.